And so I was pretty excited to get working on this 03 Sonic Blue GT. It's a parts car. It's pretty heavily damaged. But I started by pushing it out, and man, this was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. It was almost effortless. I was wondering if I was going to be able to pull that car out or if I was going to have to hook it up to a four-wheeler or something. But I was able to push it so easy, and I just pushed it across the yard into the driveway. And you can see the bullet there. It's always nice to have a nice Mustang when you're working on one that's in such rough shape. So here's a little bit of a walk around of the car before we get started. So this is how the car looked when I got it. Pretty banged up, pretty dirty, pretty messed up. And you'll see it has a ton of damage on this passenger side quarter panel. That is why this car is not getting repaired. It has been completely run over by a semi truck or something and you can see how the door panel and the quarter panel don't line up it's twisted downward it's pretty significant damage and so the front of it's been wrecked pretty bad too and this car was already purchased for the drivetrain by somebody else and so uh, I have what's left of the car and it's not bad there's some good parts left on this car this pressure washer gave me trouble I had to have my son hold it down and have it run well I started it and it gave me a lot of trouble it's pretty new but it, it's always having a rough start but i got it going and so i just wanted to power wash this car off and get it cleaned up i have no idea whether there are rodents living inside i have no idea anything about this car it was up you know about an hour away in a little tiny town and i've done a little bit of a video about the car and about um, the cool project of the Zinc Yellow 01 V6 that the guy had taken the drivetrain out of this for, so that's pretty cool. This does have a V6 axle on it now, so this is definitely just a parts car, but I wanted to come in here and clean it out, and I brought a respirator mask because there is something that smells inside of it, and I just wanted to be very careful about cleaning it out, make sure I'm not breathing anything, and I made a funny video of this on my Instagram, and this seat, it was uh, kind of difficult to get out. I, I still had the uh, carpeting strap pieces on the back that I had to get to, but <laughs> the seat bracket did whack me in the head, but I moved right out of the way just in time, so it barely touched me, but it was still kind of a shock. And so I made a joke about that on my Instagram. Boom, right there in the head, I got it. So <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but I wanted to remove the seats first and clean them out because this is just really filthy and I wanted to get this car cleaned up and just see what I have to work with here. But as you can see when we get these seats out they're pretty dirty and the back seat here had something spilled on it and um, it comes off the top pretty well but this back part here is really messed up. I think it's brake cleaner because it's kind of an acid and it's red uh, something like that and it was just kind of gross to get off. So maybe I'll get a new lower section of the seat uh, when, I, when I come around to that point. But I, I did want to see what I had to work with here. And this seat back section cleaned up really nicely. I started by getting some simple green and uh, letting it soak. And I just decided I'd probably power wash these seats. So this is what the interior of the car looked like. Um, it's just pretty trashed. It has a V6 cluster laying in there because the guy had taken the GT1. And uh, But the seats are okay. They're better than nothing because that's what I have in the yellow GT right now is nothing. So I just wanted to clean this all up and see how nice we can make it look and see what we have to work with. So I finished getting the seats out and uh, the passenger side one I was able to move around and get out pretty easy but the driver's side one you have to have power hooked up to it so I hooked up power to it and all the relays were clicking and stuff but I was able to move the seat forward and back to get to those bolts and so I did get the seat out now this one had like a boost controller extra wire strapped to the side of it so you can see it's getting hung up on the way out and uh, nothing serious you'll see it when I pull the seat out there's this cord that's just kind of hung on there but I disconnected the uh, power to the seat on the bottom of it and everything so I was pretty sure I had everything out I was wondering why it was snagging but 
Anyway, totally sprayed down the seats with simple green, and I just thought this is going to be something that's worth power washing and getting cleaned up. And it's nice because around here it's like 100 degrees in the middle of the day, so these seats um, clean up and they dry up pretty good. Um, but you can see as I power wash it, that simple green is foaming up and coming out nicely. And I just wanted to get these things cleaned up. Seats are something interesting because it's where people sit and you know there's sweat and things in them and dirt and depending on uh, if they are working and getting their clothes dirty and then sitting in the seats they can get pretty gross. But it felt really good to get these power washed out and I wanted to make sure to get all the seats while I did this. And the power washer did all right. Um, it's better than just the hose. It was kind of struggling but it still worked all right, and you can just see how much crap's coming out of these seats, uh, especially the lower section that I get to here in a second. But the seats are definitely something that need to be cleaned out. And um, like I said, this bottom seat had something on it that was pretty gross, and I might just replace that whole bottom section of the seat. I did take a razor blade and cut the foam on the bottom because it was all gross and kind of soggy but um, luckily that's something to easily replace and it doesn't have to match I can just find a v6 cloth seat that's about the same color uh, but I did want to use a brush on these and I have a, a brush that I was going to use but I didn't want to tear up the fabric too much with it because it could make it fuzzy and kind of messed up but one of the goals I had was to foam these seats up with a brush in the simple green and then use the shop vac to suck stuff out of it with. My friend that has the mobile detail business has an extractor that sucks stuff out of the carpet and the seats. Uh, but as we've talked over the years, he said, you know, you could really use just a shop vac if the seats are wet and it will suck a lot of stuff out. And you can actually hear the water being pulled out of these seats and you can see it if you go really slowly and look you can see that the shop vac does a good job at sucking the water and crud out of these seats and so I thought this worked pretty well especially since the seats were going to sit out in the sun and dry all day and uh, I think it did all right it didn't get rid of all the stains I could probably do more to do that but like I said these seats don't have to be perfect they're just something to go in the yellow GT and I have an extra set of Mach 1 seats, the front ones at least, and so there's always options and the wrecking yards usually have a good selection of Mustang seats and I like the fabric. I think that the fabric's nice and it cleans up nicely. So let's see what we have inside the car to work with. Ew, disgusting. Needs to be totally cleaned out, but it'll look good when it's cleaned out, you know. So that's something that I like to do and I love to see the change. So I went in there with a trash bag and gloves and my respirator mask and even some earplugs for the shop vac and everything. And I just cleaned this whole thing out and I thought it was looking pretty good. Made some pretty good progress. There's some extra wiring in there. I cut the airbags off so that it wasn't uh, so crammed in there because who cares about the airbags. <laughs> I thought they're actually pretty neat. I haven't really seen an airbag up close and so I looked it over and I think it'd be kind of fun to keep something in that bag because it's sewn so well. So I got the center console out and it needs to be cleaned. I did use some simple green on it and I think it faded the paint on the center console so be aware of that. Usually I use just water but it was so gross and it had soda stained all over it so I did use simple green on it but I cleaned out the uh, tire well area and this will be a nice car to store things in, you know, Mustang parts and things like old clutches and flywheels and, you know, valve covers, things that don't have to be necessarily totally protected, but I want to keep out the elements. But here's the center console. See how gross it was. It was disgusting. So um, this is just kind of a picture of the progress. And uh, this was a big project just to see everything out here. There's the trunk liners and things. and those are all useful things to have and some people are looking for those things and they're in pretty good shape but seats were drying in the sun but my dad always used to say parts is parts it was a joke he's really good at English so it's not like he didn't talk well but he would always say that as a joke to say you know 
any part that you have is just as good as any other part as long as it works. So I was thinking about that. The center console, you can see I cleaned it up, but I think it did take some of the, the paint, made it look kind of cloudy. But next thing I wanted to do was take off the door panels and start going for the harnesses. Now, one of the reasons I bought this car was, well, it has door panels, which I already have another set from an 03 Cobra, but um, the yellow GT doesn't have any door panels, so uh, they're black too, so this is great. Midnight black or dark charcoal, but this harness that comes all the way through here through the door is something I was going after, and it plugs in way up in there, and I got the first one out. It's this brown one. I had to reach way up there and unplug it. It has the clip on the one side. And then the other one that's up there is this long skinny black one and it has the release tab on one side here. And those two plugs um, go through the door like I was showing you. And they um, control all the window switches and door locks and everything so I needed this harness because the guy with the yellow GT when he was parting it out he cut the switches all off uh, to get the door panels off so I needed this entire harness and so I got the driver's side off pretty easy and then I got the passenger door panel off and um, I went for the harness on this side and it was uh, pretty easy because on this side uh, you don't have the steering and everything to uh, deal with. The harness just plugs up underneath the dash here, I'll show you. So I got that door panel off, which I'm going to use. And up here, if you uh, take the glove box and push these tabs out on each side, you can drop the glove box down and reach way up in there. And that's where the next two harnesses are and they look the same as the other side the brown and the black with the release tabs like I showed you on the other side and and uh, I was also after these Mach 460 door speakers if you see they have the Z on them those are the Mach audio speakers huge magnet and um, the big Z on the back and so I got all the harnesses and the speakers out of the doors and the tweeters and that's great because I need that for the yellow car and speaking of the uh, mock audio system you're gonna want to make sure that if you ever replace that that you get those speakers because aftermarket ones don't do the same thing they don't have the huge magnet on the back they're never gonna sound as good so but it's nice to look at my other cars while I'm doing all this and see two beautiful mock ones here in the garage it makes the project a little easier when you have such a wreck that you're working with so um, that's the update for now. I thought I'd leave you with these bloopers. This is basically me struggling to get the power washer to work and you know it's not all easy. I do have a lot of struggles with all this. It's not just simple. Um, there are uh, hang-ups that I have in these projects. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more Mustang content. By the way, I did put gas inside the intake on the little foam air intake and stuff. That helped to get started, but I did do things to try to get this thing to run. And it ran before, and it was running for like 30 minutes, and then now it wouldn't run. So it was just a struggle. It had gas in it, everything. I did get it to work again, but man, it was a struggle. You can hear in my voice, I'm so tired, my heart's pounding, but pulling on this thing, trying to get it to work. Thing doesn't run after how long? <laughs>